I tell you guys on YouTube about fishtails. The real deal. I'm checking out some of the exhibits here at National Geographic while I wait on a few of my friends. A couple of biologists and ichthyologists to discuss fossil records and fish in general, but mainly cichlids, not monster fish. Well, we probably will discuss some monster fish as well. Guys, aquatic community, I really want you guys to know this. Skip is working diligently networking, talking, to certain people, different networks, to try and get some of these cichlids and fish that we love to keep in our home aquariums on national television with a national audience. Like this gar, we see these gars all the time on River Monster, Monster Fish, and other shows on Nat Geo, Animal Planet, National Geographic as well. But you rarely see cichlids like Dovis, Umbies. Midas, Trimex. Things of that nature. Nat Geo. So I want you guys to experience what I want to experience, my dream. I want my dream to come true, to actually see some of the aquatic life and fish that we all keep in our aquariums, as well as the monster fish that some of us keep. I love everything about nature. This is my passion. I've been in this hobby for over 38 years. Just awesome. Oh, okay, he's coming to the boat. This is the chance to bring it up to the surface. What if instead of a large stingray? First giant freshwater stingray on This was a large um fight for such a small ray. Absolutely. This guy is about Four feet wide, probably eight or nine feet long, including the Wouldn't tail. that be awesome for some Brown of us? Color, the same color as the mud where it spends most of Fish time. geeks. You see the barb, it's about six inches long. The giant freshwater stingray had the longest barb of any species of stingray. And if it's six inches long, believe me, it can deliver a funny, painful wound. This gooch catfish is huge, people. 
This is a stuffed display of a gooch catfish. It is well over six feet. It is as long as I am tall, and I'm six two. This saw fish is enormous. Huge. My goodness. I didn't know they get that big. Twenty one feet. Lifespan. 44 years. This is Australia's Northern Territory. Over half a million square miles of remote deserts, swamps, and forests. In the rainy season, the Fitzroy is a normal flowing river. But in the dry season, the water drops, forming a series of isolated pools, some of which are several hundred kilometers from the ocean. Wow. This thing is massive. Check out my hand. It's like touching a shark. closely related to a shark, but really it's most closely related to a ray, like a stingray or a manta ray. These toothy predators live in both fresh and salt water, where they can grow up to an amazing 22 feet long. Using their saw-like snout, they are expert hunters. She was pretty gentle. She was pretty gentle. Just beautiful. Check out the muskie. A couple of big mouths. Sunfish. Channel catfish. 
and there's even a large guard. Back there in the back. fit right in his mouth. That is ridiculous. Let's go over here to the Earl Pimer. I see uh, a couple of my friends are here now. So I'm about to wrap this video up. Ooh, this boy is huge. Gee! I didn't know Earl Pimers get this big. Look at on my fist, my watch, all in his mouth. It is awesome, YouTube. I love it. learn so much just by visiting your local museums or wildlife preservation I love the paddlefish if I'm not mistaken, I think Rusty Wilson, he uh, keeps paddlefish in his pond. Teeth, scar. Paddlefish is one of my favorite fish native to North America. I'm a freshwater ecologist and National Geographic Explorer. The skip. I'm out.